Hi, my name is Andre. I'm a chemist and today we are going to talk about the acids and bases. The acids, you can make them every day in the kitchen. They have a sour taste, so you can fill it in a vinegar, oranges, lemons. Bases are very useful for cleaning, like soap, hair conditioner. They can remove the dirt and plaques as well. They made a special bubbles, we call hydroxide bubbles. Our bodies use acids and bases too. For example, in our stomach, we have acids, hydrochloric acids in our gastric juice to help digest the food what we have eaten before. In our muscles, they are so-called lactic acid, which is produced during when we are exercising. Then we feel also a pain caused by this lactic acid. Almost all liquids are either acid or bases and they have some degree how they are strong. This value we call pH. The scientists use a measurement to measure how they are strong. This is this pH value and this is a scale which tends to from 1 to 14. When we say that liquid has pH 1 it means it's a very strong acid. When a liquid has 14 pH, it means it's a very strong base. The distilled water has pH 7. It means that it's neutral, so it's not an acid and not a base. The majority of the liquids, for example in our bodies, is around 7. And we can affect this pH value in our everyday life, in our everyday activity. This pH level depends on what we eat, what we are doing, how we breathe. Something as simple as washing your hands has effect on your pH and your skin. It's a very important thing that we can regulate ourselves, the pH level in our body, by the diet, by the, our everyday diet. So when we eat so many meats, then we decrease the pH, it means that we increase the acidic level, but when we eat so many vegetables, we increase the pH, it means that we tend to be more basic. So I invite you to demonstrate, to make some experiments, how we can distinguish the acids from bases.